It's a big embarrassment for Pakistan at the top global security body, which is the United Nations Security Council, currently chaired by India. Will other nations walk the talk before Afghanistan falls to terrorists? Hi, you're watching Hindustan Times Take 5 and on the show today, we are going to be talking about the very strongly worded statement of the United Nations Security Council on the Taliban's deliberate targeted attacks on civilians in Afghanistan. The UNSC statement condemns the attack on a UN compound in Herat last week and said that such deliberate attacks targeting civilians, uh, United Nations best personnel and United Nations compounds actually constitute war crimes, make actually constitute war crimes on the part of Taliban. Now, most importantly and very, very emphatically, the statement categorically declares that it does not support the restoration of the Islamic Emirate. That is what the pre-2001 Taliban used to call itself. Now, this is indeed the most vocal censure of the Taliban's bloody rampage across Afghanistan since the United uh, States decided to exit the country. Now, it comes uh, just on the second day of the Indian presidency of the forum, that is the United Nations Security Council. Now, this is also in line with India's stated decision of wanting to make maximum contribution to the United Nations Security Council as a non-permanent member till 2022. Afghanistan will be a key issue that is likely to dominate India's term as the rotational president of the Security Council for the month of August. Especially with Pakistan-backed Taliban trying to conquer Afghanistan through brute force. In fact, the UNSC presidency in August is India's big chance of playing a crucial and a constructive role in a peaceful and stable Afghanistan. So far, India has been officially reluctant in getting directly involved in the affairs of Afghanistan, uh, where the Taliban insurgents now claim to control more than 85% territory. Not that the Taliban is too eager to engage with India either. Uh, in a bid for international legitimacy, the insurgent group has been eagerly engaging with or wanting to engage with Beijing, with Moscow, with Tehran, London, Washington, D.C., but not India. Why is that so? Why? Well, because of the principal Taliban sponsors, which is Pakistan, it wants an Afghanistan minus India. But now India can play a crucial role in Afghanistan via the U.S. Security Council. In fact, the Ashraf Khani government has already called on India. There was a phone call that happened between uh, the foreign minister there and the for in Afghanistan and our own foreign minister, S. Jashankar, where they've requested to convene an urgent special session of the UNSC following blasts in Kabul on Tuesday, including a car explosion outside the defense ministry. Now, despite their efforts to project a modern, uh, rational image for the world, the Taliban still resembles a very heavily armed militia with really medieval ideology and mentality and very scant or little respect for the vulnerable groups. In fact, their military advance, in fact, has been accompanied by reports of return to brutal and barbaric violence and practices that had marked their uh, 1996 to 2001 regime. Now, these include incidents of human rights abuse, targeted killing, including that of the Indian photojournalist Danish Siddiqui. Now, with the presidency of the United Nations Security Council, India has a chance to beat the Taliban as well as Pakistan at their own game. India can and is already flagging concerns about the insurgent group's methods and designs at this forum, and uh, you know, which is already sort of putting a brake on Taliban's quest for international legitimacy and acceptance.